Hi guys, so today I'm recapping a very vintage Christmas. Dodie and Ed, love story. The movie begins with Dodie decorating a very vintage antiques, an antique store she co-owns, which she is hoping to get ready before Christmas in two weeks. As she decorates the front of the store, she stands on a wobbly ladder, but luckily, a handsome stranger, Ed, a contractor, comes to her rescue. As Dodie continues to prep the store, she finds a box of romantic mementos owned by Carl and Ginger. She is determined to return the box to its rightful owner, so she visits the address she finds on the letter in the box. She gets there and Ed and his realtor mom are getting it ready for sale. Ed tells her it's his family home, then she shows him the box of mementos. Later, Ed stops by the store and he wants to help her find the owners for the box. He thinks he recognizes where the Santa photo in the box was taken. Dodie hesitates at first, but she decides to go with him. Then they go by the place where the photo was taken, hoping Santa or his helper can help them, but they end up taking a photo with Santa. Later they stop by a diner, chat a bit, then Dodie tells Ed she's not ready for a relationship, even though he didn't ask. The next day they find another clue in the box, this time it's a long overdue book. They go straight to the library where they end up reading books to the kids before heading to the basement to find who checked out the book. They find an address that they visit and talk to an old lady who knew the couple but doesn't know where they are now. Then Ed finds a movie ticket in the box of mementos and he and Dodie end up watching an old black and white film as they eat a box of popcorn. Then they have a finger moment and stare at each other. <laughs> it's two days before they open the store and Ed stops by again with an antique model train. Then they end up going to the annual Christmas tree lighting event, hoping that Ginger and Carl might be there after finding a postcard of the tree lighting event in the box. Later they go to Christmas tree shopping for the store. They get back to the store, decorate the tree, then Ed puts on some vintage music and asks, Dodi for a dance, but things get a bit awkward. The next day, a uh, day before opening, the store is flooded after it rained the night before. They call Ed to help out and he fixes the roof. <laughs> then Ed drives all the way to the mountain to get snow and they have a snowball fight like kids. Later, they go by Ed's mom to make Christmas cookies for the opening of the store. It's a day of the store opening. Lots of people, but they are not really buying. Then an elderly gentleman finds a key in the box of mementos. Dodie tells him it's not for sale. And he tells her it's for a post office box. The next day, Dodie and Ed continue their quest and go straight to the post office where they check the box and find an engagement ring and a note. Afterwards, they go to the diner and they have a disagreement about going to the address they found at the post office and Dodie leaves. Dodie goes by the address and she finds Carl, aka Santa, and he gives her Ginger's real name then she looks her up on the computer. Later she goes by Ed and tells him to come with her to meet Ginger. Then they go back to the diner. Dodie invites Ed's mom. Then she gives her the box of mementos and tells her it belongs to her. Later Dodie sets up Ginger to meet Carl aka Santa in disguise at the Christmas dance. 
Then Dodie and Ed dance the night away. The store ends up doing very well. Then Ed surprises Dodie disguised as a Christmas caroler. He gives her a key to a P.O. box for her Christmas gift, then kisses her. The end. If you like this movie recap, then you can find more here. Bye-bye.